Where are we going today? Uh, oh, oh, my neck is killing me. There's a part of the tram network that uh, goes to an area of Sheffield called Norfolk Park. Whenever I'm on the tram going into um, back out of Sheffield, you get a fantastic view over the uh, over the city centre. Like everything to shoot, it's took me a while to get around to actually doing it. But I've decided I'm going to just go and see where I can uh, see where I can see. Hopefully, to make things a bit more interesting, I'll be able to get a tram going past in uh, in a couple of shots. I've got two particular places in mind that I'm going to shoot from. One of them's kind of on a bend, so hopefully, yeah, we'll get there. A bit of tram in that one for some interest in there. Um, what's the word? Light trails, that's the word I was looking for. trees and bits in the way and these bushes here so I'll play with the composition but I'm not sure so yeah I can't really get the composition I wanted it, it, it kind of looked the shot looked better in my head not happy with that oh, Jesus Christ it's one of those things it's uh, that you can't always make a photograph out of something even if it's it could be something that's quite nice to look at like the view is nice from up there a good view doesn't always translate into a good photo yeah, the views over the city are pretty amazing from here there's a lot of obstructions there's a lot of, because we're on a on a main road on a on a tram route, there's a lot of really tall lamp posts, which might be a bit of a problem. I'm not so bothered about the power lines with the tram as such, because if the tram's in the shot, then it's kind of part of the point of it. Um, I'm busting for a wee. I had a coffee before I came out, and it's gone straight through me. I've just seen a fox running over the road, so once I've got. My shots here, I'm going to walk up and see if I can see it. Alright, not the best, but I panicked because there was a tram coming, so I just set up and took a shot. And it's not really worked. Change lenses, I've got the 50mm on now. And now at least I can see the city in the background of the shot, whereas before it was too far away with a wide angle. So I'm just gonna I'm trying to figure out what composition whenever a tram's going past. Right, not the best composition, but again there's one coming, so I've set up. Alright. An ISO 800 or F18 I think. Uh, 10 seconds. I don't even know. Mm. Mm. Everything on the image is looking really noisy. I've had a little, a little play on my ISO because I was on 800. Um, I've knocked it all the way down to 100, and it does seem to be a little bit better. So I'm gonna wait for one more tram. Just uh, let's see if I get one more shot. And then I'm done for the night because I need to go on and have a wee. Right. I think I've just about figured my composition out. I can possibly hear a tram coming as well.
that's me done for tonight. I'm gonna get home and have a wee. And I did a Facebook Live video, which is terrifying. I'm, I'm not, I'm not convinced I've got anything worth keeping tonight. And I also wanted to do a bit of time lapse, but I just, uh, I've not had the time. There's been that much of a mess about today, actually. I, I, there was, I only, only wanted to get two shots. I had two specific shots, two compositions in mind. My plan was to set out and literally just get those two shots but it's not really worked out that way. Like I've already said, I think sometimes, I mean, in my, in my experience, just because something looks good or there's a nice view or you've got a, a, a pretty object or something, it doesn't mean that it's just gonna translate into a good photo. So I think that last one, that very last one, might be okay, it doesn't look too bad on the screen, we'll see. But by this stage, already seen it thanks for watching hopefully you found that interesting or mildly entertaining or something hopefully whatever you found it you've not found it crap see you next time